Hi, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. And today we're gonna to take a raw wood serving tray and create an ocean scene on it. Let's get started. For this project, I'll be using this raw wood serving tray that was given to me by Bear Paint. I'll be using this Bear Ultra Scuff Defense paint and in the color Broadway. I painted one coat of the Bear Paint on the serving tray. I let that dry and then I painted a second coat onto the tray. Here's what it looked like after both coats were painted on. I let the serving tray dry overnight. I love how beautiful the color is. Next, I received Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, and it comes in two parts, part A and part B. Using my Total Boat measuring cup, I placed parts A and B, equal amounts, ratio one to one, into my bowl. I set the timer for three minutes, and I slowly stirred the epoxy. Stirring slowly is important to prevent bubbles. I poured the epoxy into three small containers, and I made sure to reserve some clear for the future. And I added the colors of Folk Art Acrylic Paint, True Blue, Ocean View, and Titanium White. I put a drop of the acrylic paint into the epoxy, and then I stirred it until the color was blended in. Next, my tray was ready. So I poured the darkest epoxy towards the back end of the tray and the middle color of blue towards the middle of the tray. I then used a rubber glove on my hand and I made sure to smear the epoxy so that it covered all of the tray floor base all the way up to the edges and then I blended the colors together as well. I then coated the bottom half of the tray with clear epoxy and then I poured some of the white epoxy over the top of that. Next, it was time to have some fun with my Wagner Spray Tech Ferno heat gun. I put it on the lowest setting for heat and the highest setting for fan, and I pushed the epoxy and paint around with the heat gun. I moved all over the tray until I got the desired look that I wanted. The Ferno heat gun had an attachment with it that I wanted to try, so I put more layers of the epoxy on and then used this to help spread all of the layers all over the place. I also made sure to use the heat gun to go all over the entire surface to pop any bubbles that might be remaining. You can play with as many layers as you want, so you keep messing around with it till you get your desired look that you're going for. Once you're all done, let the epoxy dry completely. This was my first run doing this kind of project and I'm really excited with how it turned out. This was a test run for a future bigger project that I'm going to do, which is a coffee table. So I hope to share that with you soon. I hope this inspires you to create a serving tray of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel, my blog, and be sure to ring the bell on YouTube to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.